Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another pro 1v1 match. Today we're on a map called Liquid Gold. It's called Liquid Gold because it's got loads and loads of oils. Down in the south, we have the Cyan Player with the China Vanilla. This is Marika. All the way up in the north, facing him today. Bit of a Dark Horse player. This is the Purple player. Super Weapon General. This is Reznov. Reason is a bit of a dark horse is because probably if you asked most people their top 10 or top 15 players I don't know whether Reznov would be in many people's lists However, uh, every now and again he does crop up and beat one of the like top 10 or top 5 players uh, with a strong strong performance indeed I think it's all due to activity, but you could say the same about a lot of other players as well Tends to be uh, on and off, but when he's on his A game, Reznov is a bit of a force to be reckoned with Opened with the barracks, two supplies going for some oils. Going for three oils, sending a dozer over to the right. Marikar has opened double barracks. He's got the Red Guard Veterancy, producing them two at a time. So I think the build is typically that one will get the capture upgrade. That one will make six Red Guards probably in total. He's going for the safe one. Also repairing this oil because it is a bit damaged from the beginning. Actually, I say a bit, it's actually very damaged. And he's also sending a red guard down there to the bottom right. Over, also over to the left-hand side, he's occupying this uh, little tower thing. Reznov. I think he's got the crush there on one of the units, but this is a little bit risky. And I say risky because... Uh, it either just got cancelled, like Marikar just shot it, or he just cancelled it. I'm not sure which, because uh, Reznov did have a little bit of cash in the bank there. Not sure if he got that money back from it or not. Gat. Straight away down the map from Marikar, heading down the left-hand side. It's going to straight away put the pressure on the Chinooks. There is a V already out, as you would expect. It's going to head over there straight away, and the first bit of action is upon us. Marikar did force fire the ground there just to spin up his Gats, but the uh, spin up his Gatlin turret, rather, and the uh, two MDs, Evac and Laze Locky. He's leaving the two MDs there. It might be useful if another Gat there's a venture that way. You can laser lock it again, but the V numbers are getting up. There's a gap heading towards the right hand side there as well. And Reznov now has these two safe oils in the back of his base. Marikar also has two safe oils, and he's grabbed himself that one and two on the left. And he's probably going to get a third on the left. But Reznov being quite efficient with the Vs so far. Another gap there is taken out. He's ahead in XP, 242 against 88. But I think Marikar at this point is just buying time. If one of the Gats gets through and kills some Chinooks, then that's uh, all very well and good. But otherwise, you're keeping Reznov on his toes, on his side of the map, and using that time to get the oils, get the refinery. There is a V here. I wonder if he's going to be able to stop that refinery capture or not. I think it would have been useful. But he's actually just heading straight down to the bottom right-hand side of the map. Reznov over on the left-hand side with four Vs. He's going to try and capture this oil that Marikar has already got. Marikon does lose one more gat. He's trying to do some damage to the ambulance. Another gat gets taken out. And uh, that V's gone down as well, just to that just to that building. Yeah, a bit surprised he didn't take out that refinery, but I think he was paying attention more so on the left. And this is a bit of a deadly push now. Marikon will need to drop down some defenses. He is doing it. He's dropping down a bunker. I think that'll be his third bunker. He's also making a bit of a death squad here. Anti the army, tank hunters, and gats. He's grabbing himself this tower, and Marikar sets up the train reaction explosive barrels. I always think that explosive barrels like that just adds a little bit of an extra fun dynamic to a map. As well as the uh, the damaged oil gives you gives yourself something to do in the beginning with one of your idle doses, when otherwise it'd just be sat around doing nothing. You might as well get it repairing things. Flamer almost takes down the oil up at the top right. America was sending a red guard there to try and capture it as well, but that gets denied as well. So all, all things considered, so far pretty good for Reznov, but also quite good for America because he's getting MiGs now, building a second airfield, even building a CC. He's got his defense up. So yeah, once the MiGs start raining down some damage on these Vs, it's going to go from pretty good to kind of average or even... Uh, even behind once these MiGs start raining down that fire. Takes out 
one V took out the ambulance there as well for two mix. Probably kind of worth it there for Marikov because I think he's considered economically ahead at this time. Mainly due to having these oils and refinery and the artillery platform over on the right hand side because it's going to be quite hard for Reznov to take some of that back, I feel. V goes down, unfortunately, there for Reznov to this fully loaded building in the middle. And Reznov running into a bit of a choke point here, and he's going to lose a hell of a lot of Vs. And I think once he loses these Vs, he is considered quite a bit behind. Because Marikar can afford these trade-offs because he's economically ahead, whereas Reznov has to be quite efficient. Search and Destroy has already been deployed from the strategy center, and the airfield is now being produced next to it. He's going to try and get to Aurora's. The Gat is trading itself for a few MDs. Only maybe one MD, though, but they take out a V there as well. Wow. Flamer taken out, but also a V taken out there. Reznov with some quite good V-Micro. When the MiGs are not involved, these Vs, as they should be, are dealing with these Gats, especially when there's no tank hunters nearby. But the issue is the MiGs, because they're just reloading, getting up in their, in their numbers, and when they're out, they're going to be deleting these Vs very, very quickly. Wow, <laughs> that's really unfortunate there for uh, Reznov. But I mean, is it just due to his own mistake? You're sending an MD forward. Uh, yeah, Mix take out the MVs defending and this gas now got into the base. It's going from uh, bad to worse here for Reznov. But he does have an Aurora out and he is going to take out a full airfield of Mix. Yeah, very nice. When you do those kind of shots, you need to force fire just in front of it to so make sure the secondary explosion definitely does go off and it did and he's taking out four mix Marco was floating quite a bit of cash there like close to 15k now just over 10k Marco trying to take out it's all over on the right side artillery coming in for Marica. probably going to be on the strat there's still a beacon next to it Aurora going to be used on the oils on the right hand side. Not taking out any yet, but it has significantly damaged this front one. Marikov spending some of this cash now, but he's still floating over 10k. He's building a new airfield, a new power plant, a load of doses. Mix coming on the right hand side and take out more Vs. That one's even standing in the fire. There's going to be another MiG coming there as well. So those Vs were completely useless in there. 850 each, especially if they've got guys inside of it as well. They're $300 a piece for the MDs. So yeah, looking pretty rough here for Reznov. He's got another Aurora ready to take off. Probably going to try and finish off this oil. Does finish off the oil. But there is still another one. It's damaged as well. Spectre gunship is out now. He is level 3. One Spectre, level 1, should be able to take out one oil. Provided it doesn't fly off the map too much because in the secondary gun does not fire. Reznov with a bit of a probe here with his Vs over on the left hand side but goes a little bit too close to that building and loses one of them. Only two remaining. One of them's taking some damage but all of these oils on the left hand side except Reznov's one are cleared but the thing is that Marikov's collecting from there and he's collecting from there and these MiGs are back in the air. Takes out another one. At least it was only one V but there's still expensive losses. One V for one MiG. Marikov will probably still take that because he's economically ahead. Aurora again from Reznov. Control fires the ground, does get the mix whilst they are um, laying on the airfield. Quite a lot of tank enters here. Uh, Reznov could just make a pathfinder. That would clear up all of the tank enters, but he is brute force trying to kill them, and he is losing these for that. Yeah, I just feel like Reznov started off really, really efficient, but Marikar's just got all the economy, and now uh, the trade-offs aren't as efficient for Reznov, and you can't do that. Either you need the same economy 
as the China, or you need to be super, super efficient. And it just those things are not happening for him at the moment. Makes coming in, raining down some more damage uh, on the right hand side. Another V falls. This those is going to go and try and repair that top right oil. Probably will get there in time, but uh, just even two megs at this point could come there, snipe the dozer, and also kill the oil. Supply drop zone being built in the top left of uh, Reznov's base. Carpet bomb straight down the middle of the map is probably going to get either the strat, or if Marikov's playing it safely, he'll try and hit the uh, between there. But he's actually going to get all three. Oh, that's really painful. Getting a barracks, a power, and a war factory for a carpet bomb. You would happily take that. You would even happily just take one war factory, never mind the additional things there as well. And... Reznov is just getting picked apart at this point. Yes, Marikar is losing a few MiGs here and there. But again, you just need to be so, so efficient as the super weapon. Here's the Colonel Burton. The, the reason I said it's unfortunate before is because he was walking forward with an MD. That was a target for the MiGs, really. And then he walked the uh, Colonel Burton into the fire. So it was a slight mistake there initially from Reznov. That Colonel Burton could have been useful in helping turn the tide in terms of taking down MiGs while they're on the ground and also taking out oils much, much sooner than waiting for, like, the Spectre to come through. Um, but Reznov's making some damage here on the left-hand side. One of the trucks here has been taken out. Marikar's built a Gatling Cannon defense. Gatling Cannon's just so hard to push through, especially when you've been attacked from the air by MiGs as well as uh, Gats on the ground, Gatling turrets, Gatling Cannons. Spectre Gunship will get shot down. He's got chain guns. He's got a Vet 2 Gat there as well. Loads more MiGs coming in over on the right-hand side. Is he just going to go and shoot that oil? I think if he's got like six MiGs there, should be enough. Is there even seven there? Yeah, there's seven actually. Yeah, that, that should be dead. Particle Cannon is going to be denied from just one MiG. The Dozer is already quite low in HP. Gets cancelled. Gets his 2.5k back. Maricard's floating loads of cash. Almost 15k trucks here a little bit out in the open are going to get picked off by Reznov. Reznov pushing forward a little bit as well. Again, like th these Vs are really good on the ground without uh, MiGs involved. But as soon as the MiGs get involved, these Vs are in trouble. Here comes the artillery again from America. Strategy Center has been built, but it's going to get probably killed like basically straight away. Colonel Burton is just chilling around and doing nothing. I feel like that's one of the units that needs to be having more of an impact. The first time he was made, didn't make an impact. And now he's just kind of chilling here while he's losing Chinooks. Here comes an Aurora, but the X is pressed by Marikar. Aurora goes down for one gap. Here comes an A-10, also missing the target. Colonel Burton definitely needs to be used at this point. Whilst Marikar is distracted with this little fight going on here at the front. Does Reznov want to think about dropping down some EMPs? Maybe an EMP on the left, maybe an EMP there. His oil on the right that go down. He's still got one oil. But he's not collecting anywhere at the minute apart from this uh, this one drop zone. Aurora coming in from Reznov again. Gets a nice hit. Kills like three units. Carpet Bomb misses the target. Migs all coming in and they are all missing the target. They're coming in one at a time or two at a time. And it is not enough for three uh, Avengers to be broken through. So that's quite a decent engagement there. For Reznov to be taken, or more messed up by Marikar. But Marikar does have so many Gats and ECMs. He seems to have like 20 or 25 units heading across the map. Now, he spent all of his cash, and it's clear what he spent his cash on. He is heading deep now into the base of Reznov. Reznov coming in with an Aurora. It goes for the hit, loses the Aurora, maybe kills one, two, or three Gats maximum. However, again, you need to be doing more efficient trades than this. You cannot be losing units at the same time. Just trying to micro these Vs back, getting lasered down by these ECMs. ECMs moving in, but so far so good. The Vs are being microed back. Mix just coming in, trying to take out the War Factory. They've just got free reign, really. Do you kill the drop zone? Do you kill the Vs? America are going to stop the Dozer from building the strat on 95%. One of the Vs here does get locked down. We've got an Albino or Glowing Avenger on the right. But again, it just all comes down to Marikar's economy. He's got one safe foil. Uh, he's still got a safe foil here. And he's still collecting on the right and got the refinery. So all his vehicles, all his megs are all 10% cheaper. Reznov 
continues to try to hold his thinning out this gat army spectre gunship took out an airfield there Rosnov still very slowly trying to clear this army in the back of his base and he is going to do that but the megs are already back on the way again he's got free reign about what to hit now do you hit the mmds do you hit the power do you hit the drop zone do you go for the army whatever you click you can delete it he's going for the strat gets the strat loses ooh, maybe five mix there quite a lot of mix however uh Marikar could even lose double that and still be winning really uh where's the lotus lotus capturing the cc America, yeah, forces Reznov to sell. The war factory has to rebuild the CC. Here comes a carpet bomb. It's probably going to take out the barracks and the airfield both. This is looking pretty clinical here from America. CC is being built. I feel like those Avengers need to be closer to this army or at least hugging this dozer or something because the mix could come in now and take out them V's. Here comes an EMP, probably. Oh, is that an EMP? One of them's an EMP, one of them's a mind drop. Whole army gets disabled. Mix coming in. Deletes the dozer. He is hunted. His army's on fire. There's mines. There's an EMP. Everything is going off inside of Reznov's base, and that is GG. Well played there to Marikar. Yeah, clinical, but it all came down to the beginning, I feel like. Does China have an advantage there, making double red guards? Like, get, once you get all the oils, keep him distracted with a few gats. Do you have an advantage? I always feel in a comfortable position if you can get yourself on two supplies, a bunch of oils, and just spam loads of tank hunters and gats. Like, the super weapons got loads of things to deal with. And, uh, yeah, I just feel like the China becomes overwhelming. But if you can keep on top of the MiGs, if you can kind of keep your uh, economy at least 50-50, don't let him have the whole right side. Come up with something, maybe a double barracks in the beginning, or maybe you can do a drop, uh, drop a ranger in that in the house on the right hand side where the two oils are maybe you can drop a ranger in the bottom right oil as well go inside of that building and try and capture that oil for yourself put the pressure on marica a little bit maybe something like that to take the edge off and get yourself some oils maybe that's how you get yourself into it but otherwise look at the cash difference man it's nearly double so yeah gg well played there to marica even though reznov was a little bit efficient he wasn't efficient enough and you can see that there 115 against 104 yeah, GG, well played. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you in the next one.